Welcome back to the show, everybody. It is your father sent back from the future into the past to let you know that we is still in, still in, killing it here. Why? Because of Doge Lumens. Today promises to be a very short episode because all I want to do is to teach people how to add in the correct asset trust line. Let me teach you very briefly on how to add in the correct asset slash trust line into your Lobster account. And if you yet to have a Lobster account, please look in the description below. I will provide a link and a referral code that you can use to get a free, I think, few XLM, and I'll get a free few XLM. Let's get right to it. Welcome to the home screen of your Lobster application. For the sake of this tutorial, I will only be going over how I like to search for my assets. Let's look in the top left hand corner. We see the three horizontal lines. Press on that, it'll bring up our menu. In our menu, we will see assets. It is the third option from the top. Now, once our asset page is up, look at the top right hand corner. We see a plus sign. Hit, hit that plus sign, it brings up add assets. In the search column, we will be typing in the web address for Doge Lumens, and that is www.dogelumens.com. Once our asset is up on the screen, go ahead and look off to the right hand side and you will see the word add. Go ahead and press add. This adds the asset to our group of assets. There will be a screen that pops up saying that we are about to add DXLM token issued by owners of dogelumens.com. Go ahead and look at the bottom and press add asset because we have confirmed that this is the asset that we want. All right, one brief insert into this video is that I want to tell you guys another way that we can confirm that we have the correct, ash, the, <laughs> the correct asset is by clicking onto the asset and scrolling down just a bit and look at the issuer's address. In here, we do not see the full address, so I will be providing that full address in the description box down below. This is another way that we can confirm that we have the correct asset. We do not want to fall into scams. We do not want to put our money into something that is not the real project. So let's get back to the video. And we will see that we have zero DXLM. All right, now that the page has loaded, in the middle, we will see send, request, and swap. Go ahead and press the swap selection. Now swap assets, exchange assets at the best rate. It'll say you sell DXLM, you buy XLM. We want to switch these out. Go ahead and press that swap button right in the middle between DXLM and XLM. We want to sell XLM and buy DXLM. For the sake of this tutorial, I will only be selling one XLM. Once you have confirmed how many XLMs you want for DXLM, go ahead and swap XLM to DXLM by pressing that green button. Congratulations, you are now the proud owner of DXLM. Woo, 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 woo. All right, there you have it. If you have any more questions, please feel free to ask me in the comments down below. Also, if you're not yet a part of the Future Father family, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Only if you liked what you saw, only if you enjoyed what you heard. Any more questions, you can find me on Twitter, Telegram, Future Father, find me, talk to me. As always, God bless you. Also, support veterans. Happy Veterans Day, y'all.